Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from a Zen pod on the floor of Realcom 2019 here in Nashville. I want to say a big thank you to Jim Young, the CEO of Realcom, for partnering with Disrupt CRE this year to produce 15 data rich talks that we programmed all of yesterday. I'll be sharing them with you guys over the next many weeks, one a week, so that you can learn all of the insights that, uh, that were shared. Each one is a different deep dive into different aspect of the CRE tech stack. Um, I I know you're going to find them really valuable. And I just want to comment on the culture at large here at Realcom. It's really special. Um, you can really feel the level of community that's built over the last 20 years of uh, this conference happening. And it creates this environment of openness, willingness to learn alongside one another, um, and share best practices, successes, and failures. And it's something that we strive to do with Disrupt CRE, and it's really, really amazing to see play out here. So I want to share quickly just a couple of takeaways that um, I felt like were interesting and important um, that I had the privilege of learning about this week. Cybersecurity was an overwhelming part of the conversation this week, and while it's very scary to think about all of the things that can go wrong, the failures, the breakdowns, the disconnects, uh, hacks, things like that. Um, it's also so nice to hear that people are talking about this stuff, that they're addressing those problems, getting down to the root causes, um, and figuring out the solutions. I've heard so many times this week, you know, nothing is unhackable. So the nature of having conversation and making sure that we're always on top of it, that we're always discovering those disconnects and those failures is everything. So that was really interesting. I feel like we've been talking about IoT and integrations and homogenizing data for a long time, but it's still paramount. It's still the most important, highly talked about thing at every conference that I go to, definitely here this week. And I feel like we've kind of gotten to a place where people at least understand the principles of IoT. They're starting to understand the power of being able to harness data in a really comprehensive way and the power of what that can bring to the table for so many different aspects of the building tech stack and not just the physical infrastructure, but also for the business of commercial real estate. So that's been fantastic. And I think some of the other things, you know, connectivity, connectivity speeds, 5G, all of that stuff is happening and just mostly getting into the fact that these are technologies that are an extension of human function. They're a result of cultural changes. So we're talking about not technology for the sake of technology, but technology for the sake of accommodating culture, accommodating what people need and want to do. So 5G, it's just making everything faster, more capable of accommodating the things that we want from life file transfers, IoT devices, as more and more IoT devices come online, more sensors, the building itself is, is this computer with a roof, like Edge Technologies has said many times. And so, um, again, not technology for the sake of technology. Technology is an extension of human function uh, as an underlying factor of driving culture and the things, again, that we want to do as people. So I've learned a lot here at Realcom this week, and what I'm most interested in is to hear from you you guys, what are you interested in learning about? What are the interesting things that get you excited about the commercial real estate tech space? Let me know. I'm excited to hear from you and I'll see you on the next episode.